gonna show you how to make sprays for the top of your spiral balloon columns or any other type of columns that you make out of balloons. What you need for this are 48 260s. I have um, six sets of two of the same color in four total colors. So we're going to have 24 balloons in each half and then we put them all together and make a big balloon spray for the top of our balloon column. Let's get started. Okay, I'm using four different colors in the top of my column for my sprays. And you want each of your 260s to have about a six to eight finger tail. Mine has about seven fingers or eight fingers of a tail. It doesn't really matter. It doesn't have to be exact. And what you do is inflate three sets of two of one color and tie them together at the knots, just like this. So I have three sets of lime green, three sets of black, three sets of goldenrod, and three sets of white. And after you have all those inflated and tied together, you want to take some of them and twist them together like a big spider. And then I'll take my black ones and kind of just pull those and twist those in. And try to mish, mish mosh your colors up. I'm just going to flip some of the black ones up here and spin them around. And then my last three, I'll take them at the knots and just kind of stretch them in there, pull them down and flip them around. And I don't want all my lime green ones at the bottom, so there's a lot of static in here. I'm just going to flip some up. So they're all kind of mixed up is what you want. So here is my big spider looking thing. And then I'm going to set that aside and do the same thing with the next set of balloons. So there are 24 in each half set. So if you decide to go with just two colors, you're going to figure it out to wherever you have 24 in each half set, 48 all together. Well, that's how I do mine. You can have more or less. It doesn't really matter. It's all what you prefer. So I'm just going to twist these all around. Stretch them down. Once you get them down there, twist them around so you don't come undone. Then some of the black ones up on this side and some of the lime green ones down on that side. So that looks pretty mixed up good. And then you want to take a couple of 260s. I'm going to use some white 260s, two of them to be exact. And put them together uninflated. Put the knots together just kind of like this and hold them. And about like go to the middle and about like right over here on this side going to take that and stretch that right down through the crack of these twisted ones. Then on the other set of balloons, right about like up a couple inches right here, I'm going to stretch that through the center of my other stack. So stretching it down right there. And then if you look, you have a big mess of balloons. <laughs> You have these doubled uh, uninflated balloons on this side and doubled uninflated balloons on this side that you can stretch and put onto your balloon column. But before you finish here, I'm going to take a chrome balloon because they stretch, ni stretch nicely and I'm going to hold it here and just kind of stretch it really good. See how nice and long that gets when you stretch it? That's what you want. I used to use just regular uninflated balloons and stretch them before they came out with chrome, but chrome's just a little bit longer when you stretch it and that's exactly what you need. 
and then take your balloons, hold all the ends upward and start tucking it down in your arms. You want to hold them all like a big, big bundle up like this and then take your uninflated chrome balloon and stretch it around. What this will do is it'll kind of hold everything up. So when I take this off tomorrow at my job, they'll sit up nicely on the top of the column. And then you're just gonna wrap it all around and double knot it and leave go. So you have this and then I'm gonna put it in a 55 gallon drum liner and take it to my job just to keep it protected until I get there. And then tomorrow before I go so that the little balls stay up longer, I'm gonna fill out the ends of the balloons. And what you need to do that is just twist it around. I'm gonna go like about two inches, maybe, oh, let's see, okay, like a four finger bubble. Go four finger bubble right down here and twist it like that. And then hold it here in this hand and make a channel so the air doesn't blow it out right in here and squeeze it. You're not gonna pinch this off. You're just gonna let it kind of flow through your fingers. So I'm just gonna make a channel like, like this, like a straw, you know, gonna leave it round like a drinking straw like it already is. Just don't allow that to bubble out. I'm just gonna hold it there and squeeze. And then you can pinch it off underneath this bubble before you leave go. Hold it right under here so the air doesn't go back down. Kind of fill it out. And then go around and do all these. <laughs> See how it bubbled out if you don't hold it? That's what you don't want. So four fingers, twist it pretty good a couple two or three times hold a channel there so it doesn't bubble out hold it kind of tight without pinching off the air completely and squeeze this bubble down here this four finger bubble and it fills that out and then before you leave go pinch it off right under the top bubble and kind of squeeze it up a little bit that'll keep all that air up and then you can leave go of it go around and do that to all these like I would do it on the day of your event and just kind of store it in the bag in a, a big black contractor bag, maybe in the basement where it's cool until your job. You could do it a couple days early, it won't hurt anything. I just did these tonight, but my event's gonna last, oh, let's see, four days. So I'm hoping it's okay, <laughs> should be okay. Um, I'm gonna fill it all out tomorrow, like fill these things out and squeeze them up right before my job and I will take you guys there with me and show you how I put this on the top of my balloon column. Okay, I'll see you in a couple seconds. <laughs> Thanks to editing. <laughs> okay, this is how you put the spray on. You pull it off and then take the balloons on each side right here and here. And then you pull your pole down. Make sure this is covered with an uninflated balloon and pull it down on each side. Here and here, and then take your balloons, as you can see, here and here, and you crisscross them around the pole. You pull it this way, this way, pull it down, this way, and this way. I did it four times, and then you knot it right through the center. Tug it, and then you can cut off any scraps right up above the part you knotted it. And then your spray, is on the top. And that is how you attach the balloon spray.